Petition of Beloved Zadkiel to the Karmic Board with an Introduction by Beloved Serapis Bay, December 28, 1954 Tonight, the Beloved Zadkiel is addressing the Karmic Board. As you know, he is the Archangel of the Seventh Ray, and one of the most important of his activities is the releasing of the power of invocation and the teaching of the ability to use that power, both in to the angelic kingdom, and to any of mankind who will consciously make the call for his assistance in this respect. The beloved Jesus spoke to you last evening about the necessity at this time for your calling for the removal of the causes and cores of those curses, hexes, and various destructive incantations invoked in the past by certain unfortunate life streams which curses have followed races, families, jewels, tombs, and homes for generations. As beloved Zadkiel represents the constructive use of that same power, tonight he is requesting of the karmic board their permission to remove every such curse and its cause and core, all the way back to the days of Lemuria, when they first began, those released by the black magicians of Atlantis, the Druids, and the voodoo practices of Africa, the witches of the past, and all connected with the cursing of life in any way. This has been an invocation of concentrated power, qualified with shadows, and all of this life, so shadowed now, has to be released and transmuted into light again. This evening, beloved Zadkiel wears his beautiful purple vestments with a large Maltese cross upon the back. Upon his head, he wears the great seven-pointed jeweled crown of amethyst. He holds within his hand an amethyst-encrusted scepter, representing the authority of the one supreme God, in conscious invocation by the use of his name, I Am. Now you will hear his words. Beloved Zadkiel speaks. Hail, lords of karma, mighty and infinite powers of justice. In the beginning of earth's creation, it was I who brought to her people the power of invocation, and it was I who then took the responsibility of giving mankind and some of the imprisoned angels here the knowledge which they have unfortunately used in the past to destroy the perfection of God's kingdom rather than protecting and expanding it. Therefore, I, Zadkiel, ask now in the name of life for the privilege and opportunity of removing from the earth and from every race of people upon her the incantations, the hexes, and the curses which have followed them century after century. I also ask in the name of life and light for the opportunity of removing from all tombs, especially in Egypt, those curses which surround those embalmed figures, many of which are still there, and which have discordantly affected the life streams of archaeologists and those who have attempted to open those tombs. I ask for your permission, too, to invoke the power of infinite light to dissolve and transmute all curses which have followed crown jewels and other jewels of great light, which jewels were originally meant to be concentrates of great constructive power. With all my heart, I ask your permission to remove the curses which have followed families down through the centuries, as well as all the blood rites which have been performed in Africa and those of the Druids. I ask this in the name and by the power of light. I ask your permission 
to release tonight every live stream who has gone into this bridge activity and all who even lightly, jokingly, have spoken words to or about another part of life which did not bless it and was therefore a curse to it. I ask that such live streams be released tonight from the recoil of such mistakes. I call for permission to dissolve by the power of light all the causes and cores of that which caused groups of individuals to engage collectively in past embodiments in incantations which destroyed constructive movements from the very beginning of such activities right down to the present day. Beloved Portia replies, Beloved Zadkiel, as there are many within the compound who through the use of free will had engaged in these destructive activities, it will be required of you to proceed to the compound and secure the voluntary release from each such one of their desire to continue or repeat such practices. If you can get such a release, we will be able to give you the grant requested. Beloved Zadkiel speaks, Beloved Portia and Great Karmic Board, at least for these here assembled, if they will consciously offer to make things right, may I tonight remove the causes and cores of all such unfortunate destructive foci in their four lower bodies? Beloved Portia, it may be done. Beloved Zadkiel, are you willing to do so? The audience responds, yes. Beloved Zadkiel then says, I, Zadkiel, Archangel of Invocation, in the name and by the power of life, I now release and relieve you from experiencing the recoil of conscious or unconscious participation in any type of curse, hex, or incantation which through fear has caused mankind so much suffering. This release I am giving today will include all the fear which has been charged into the consciousness of mankind by priests or heads of religions ever since the shadows began their unhappy existence on earth and in her atmosphere. Consciously accept my gift to you tonight and feel this greater freedom from now on. Thank you so much. Editor's Note As our gentle reader will see from the above date, December 28, 1954, this activity of beloved Zadkiel took place before the dissolution of the compound and the willing coming forth of those who had been in that unhappy realm for so long. These live streams are now studying in temples of light prepared for such activity at inner levels, and they are making ready to come back into physical embodiment, this time to make things right. Since this issue of our bridge is dedicated to beloved Zadkiel and his power of invocation, we desire to draw his personal radiation into it by giving these few words of his blessed self as he rendered this tremendous purifying service to life here. Will each gentle reader please accept the above gift of freedom from the beloved Zachiel? He wants you to have it, whoever and wherever you are. Please take just a few moments right here to be very still, and placing your attention upon the threefold flame of life within your own heart, feel your personal connection with beloved Zadkiel through that flame, and let him do for you what was done for the audience above referred to. Try it. It will bless you tremendously. Mm -hmm.